What's up guys? It's Matt from RC Overload and what do we have here? The ProLine Pro MT. Now I'm using this today uh, basically as a prop car uh, to show you guys this cool little trick that I learned. Um, now most of you guys know about blue Loctite. All right, This stuff helps hold your screws in place uh, when it's metal to metal contact. You got a screw going into plastic, you don't have to worry about that so much as the plastic kind of forms around the screw and holds it tight for the most part. But occasionally we like to use the blue Loctite on our drive shafts, uh, sometimes our pinion gear, or other parts of the car. But once in a while, here let me get this out of the way, <clears throat> we have to take those parts off. And sometimes the Loctite is on there so well that you just can't get it off with a normal screwdriver or anything for that matter. I've actually broken a few of these tips trying to just get this pinion gear off of here to swap it out just because the blue Loctite on this screw was held on so well. Um, the reason why I have blue Loctite on this pinion gear is because the uh, power that I'm assuming from actually keeps causing the screw to come out and loosen up this pinion gear on this motor causing a non-moving action. So I ended up having to put blue Loctite on here. But this rule of thumb is actually good for anything that you need to use uh, to remove blue Loctite off of. So what we're actually going to be doing today is we want to heat up the uh, Loctite. In this matter I'm going to be using this pinion gear for whoop, pinion gear for an example. Um, and we want to heat it up to soften the blue Loctite so we can be able to release that screw off of there. Again, this can be used on any part that has blue Loctite. Now we're going to be using a lighter for this. So, quick little uh, thing. For anybody that is not old enough to be using a lighter, please have your parent or guardian do this. There is a lot of things that you can actually catch on fire on this. A lot of plastic pieces you can melt. So you want to be careful about this, especially in small areas. Now, we're only going to be applying the flame here to the metal part for a short amount of time. Only just enough to warm it up and soften the Loctite to get it off again. Again, if you're not old enough to use a lighter, or you know how to use one safely, have a parent or guardian do this for you. Okay. On my pinion gear, I have the little set screw in the corner. I know it is kind of hard to see, okay? But basically, we're going to take our lighter and we're going to heat up this gear, the pinion gear. Now, you want to be careful because your spur gear most likely is plastic like this one. You don't want to melt it, and you don't want to melt these surrounding areas, like the lower brace. So we're going to come in at an angle. We're actually going to hover that gear kind of over the flame, so that way we can just heat up this area. All right. So we're going to light it. And we're just going to go back and forth a couple of times just to heat it up. Okay. Right afterwards, we're going to take our little screwdriver or hex driver and a little bit of force. And there you go. As you guys can see. Uh oh, I just dropped it because I wasn't paying attention. But now the screw is out and we're good to go. Now, this is still going to be hot. Okay? Common sense, fire, metal, hot. Let it sit for a minute or two until it cools down. Now I know there's some black charring on this. That actually will wipe right off after it's cooled down and you can get a rag onto it. So don't worry about that. And now I'm just trying to find a little screw. You know what? I'll look for that later. I have plenty others. But there's a little trick you guys to help you do that. Now you can do this for any of the screws. You got screws down here that you've got metal to metal contact. Uh, that you need to loosen up some blue Loctite, again, drive shafts, anything like that. You can just take a little bit of the heat to it, warm it up, and it should be good. Again, be careful of the plastics around it. You don't want to melt it, and you don't want to cause a fire or any problems, okay? So there's my little trick for the day. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time on the next RC Overload.